four, for example, I wrote a book on Tagarigua mm-hmm. because I think it was a 400, 400th anniversary or something like that. And I mean, you research... So the, four, the 400th anniversary of Tagarigua? Yeah. I have a book called, wow. either 400 or 300, I have a book called Tagarigua, a village in Trinidad, in which I outline that history. And then I discovered, in, uh, as I was researching, that was really my, piqued my interest in Burnley, I was researching on, um, on Tagarigua, and then I saw an article written by a fellow called James, or James, James Lamont, Norman Lamont, one of the Lamonts, but, this, but if Burnley was the biggest slaveholder, then James or John Lamont was the second biggest holder. Hmm. And I discovered you know, small, his nephew, his grand nephew, wrote a very small piece in 1837 for the Trent Historical Review on William Burnley, just about 20 pages. And what blew my mind that after slavery ended, when slavery ended in 1834, of course, you know, they paid the slave masters, not the slaves. Yeah, that was the closest we got to reparations. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> they reparated the slave masters, exactly. and not the slaves. <laughs> paid them big bucks, sorry. They got mm-hmm. the money from the Rothschild, borrowed from the Rothschild. But what I was interested in, he got the most money. He got the most money. And then after slavery, he's beginning to make more money still. Hmm. So I have a piece called Slavery, Colonialism, Independence, Same Khaki Pants. <laughs> so in fact, even the sell is they got money for the slaves, he make more money after that, so he keep on making money. Hmm. But when I got that, I saw that I became interested in Burnley. And when I was growing up, Burnley's mansion was in Orange Grove Savannah. I knew the mansion. Wait, so that was where Orange Grove Savannah is right now. Mm. That is where it was. Yeah. <laughs> right very close to the Eddie Hat. That, that, that's Pavilion. Yes. To your south, just really south, is where the... You'll see two roads, which you didn't realize, and people don't realize. There used to be... When I again was growing mm. up, there were two roads going to Orange Grove. The very big road, which is now... The road to the highway. That road on Orange Grove, when it come mm. out from, say, Orange Grove... To the highway, come out to Orange Road by the church. Mm. There's a big road. There's also a smaller road. Mm. That is the road that goes left, or the road they that want, goes no, straight. No, but, but, but they all merge into one now. But there mm. used to be two roads. Oh, okay. One that's okay. Going just below the, the you see the salmon tree. Yes, there are like yes. eight salmon trees or six salmon trees right down from the. There's only one now. When I did my documentary, I cut down the second one. So I have the second one cutting down in my documentary. There were like six salmon trees right to burn this hole. Hmm. There's a second gate because you had the railway. Now you have the priority. Right. You had a big gate for the railway. There was a sm- small gate at the side that ran at the side, starting from the Orange Group, and went right behind the Eddie, Eddie Hart uh, Pavilion. You know where they had to sell the food and thing now? Mm-hmm. You know one road goes through and make a right? And there's one that went, but we keep going. Now they have it in the park, but it goes straight down into Burnley's home. And that okay. was Burnley home. I grew up seeing the house. It was a big house. Hmm. A big, big house. In fact, it was, a sec- it was almost as big as the governor's house. In fact, he had one more window than the governor, which is 101 windows. <laughs> and no one could have more windows than the governor. So he had to cut a close down one. But I remember seeing the house. Now, growing up, I didn't know what the house was. But again, in light of black power, in light of Marxism and radicalism and so on, I, d- I realized that was Burnley's house. That was a slave master house. This land here we have, we rented from Burnley, from the estates. Mm. This land right here. Wow. You we, were ever able to trace um, his lineage to the, um, to the present to find out like, where his descendants are? Oh, oh, no. That was a bit difficult. I was able to trace the son mm-hmm. who, who died, who uh, died in about, I guess, early in the century. He never came back here. That's William. He went bankrupt. And the other son who went to diplomatic service. Now, there are records of the, the son's children. But I hadn't, wasn't able to trace them, no. Hmm. That's a bit much for me. I mean, these things get so broad. I was really simply interested uh, in recording Burns' life. That was my... Okay.